James, just quickly, let's talk about um, the attacks. Biden finally, after five days of going, ooh, um, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, OK, we're going to attack over here to show American resolve. Uh, they finally dropped some bombs last night. Well, they dropped some bombs, um, but I think the whole thing was a bit of a bomb. Look, you know, Iran absolutely needs to be responded to and dealt with in the way that they're funding all of these proxy groups in the Red Sea and elsewhere to cause mayhem, interrupt shifting, and now killed three U.S. servicemen with one of these unarmed drones. The way the Biden administration is doing it is completely wrong, not surprisingly. They <laughs> waited almost a week before firing anything back in terms of retaliation. They telegraphed their list of targets before they did it. They allowed all the IRGC commanders to get out, allowed them to get out whatever important stuff they wanted to get out before the missile started to fly. Why? Because the Biden administration still is in bed with Iran. And this is a continuation of what happened during the Obama administration. Yep. They decided that what they wanted to do was legitimize Iran, use Iran to balance the Sunni Muslim players and Israel in the Middle East, give, empower them, give them money, release sanctions, release bank accounts to them that had been held in trust since the revolution. All of that money then, by the way, goes and what's due? It funds Hezbollah. It funds Hamas. It funds the October 7th attacks. It funds the drones that killed three U.S. servicemen. And it is fueling and funding the attacks by Houthis in Yemen on shipping and causing all sorts of disruption to the global economy. These guys Rita? need to be stopped. Well, this is what weakness gets you. Elections have consequences, and not just for America. Iran was isolated. It was demoralised under Trump. Now it has been emboldened. It knows Biden is desperate to complete this nuclear deal. It is well advanced with... with, with uh, its uh, strategy in that area. And this is a regime that cannot be trusted. You only have to look at how the Iranian regime treats its own people and the lies it tells to not trust anything it tells you in negotiating a nuclear deal and negotiating anything. So uh, they are just seizing on the weakness of the Biden administration well, and uh, getting away with murder. But well, why, again, this is why we need Trump back in the White House, because... This madness with this current progressive madness where you tell people where you're going to drop your bombs or drop your or attack uh, in advance, which kind of defeats the purpose of the attack. Uh, you know, imagine Ronald Reagan. He responded immediately, decisively and with surprise, the element of surprise, so that the enemy, and Iran is the enemy, never knows where you're going to hit them if they dare pop up again. We've completely got our, our approach to, uh, you know, the West approach to Iran completely wrong. The head of the snake is Iran. It needs to be cut off, and that's the end to it. It needs well, the to reason, be though, finished. I mean, the, 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 the big issue, though, is that, that these guys treat the Iranian bureaucracy as a legitimate exactly. regime. And this They're is the terrorists. Most Iranian people do not support the mullahs. 100%. Poll after poll shows this. We saw democracy protests under Obama. They refused to help out. We saw democracy protests under Biden. They refused to give them any sort of support. You know, the idea that, that we just sort of keep allowing them to... Uh, crack down on, the, on, on their people like this. And also, at the same time, they also need to take, take a page out of Reagan's playbook. There's far too many American servicemen who are in harm's way where they're just sitting yes, ducks exactly. for targets, just like, you know, the, 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 the bombing of the Marine Barracks in Lebanon in 1981. Get your people out of the way. You can handle this without being right there on the ground. Trump took out Soleimani, who was one of the leading Iranian terrorists, Correct. bang, got rid of him, didn't tell him what he didn't phone up in advance. Hey, Soleimani, you know what? We're going to come after you next week, so why don't you move? I mean, seriously, the Biden administration is a joke.